Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Jamie Plays with me, Jamie. Today we are, yeah, looking at Star Trek New Horizons, um, the total conversion mod for Stellaris. And in the last episode we were kind of building up, so we have increased our naval capacity, um, we have, yeah, built more star bases, and now we can potentially declare Seize war the against the Krenum. One thing I have noticed though is that their fleet power is now superior to ours. So what I'm going to try and do is build a couple more ships before we go into battle with the with the Krenum. So looking here, we need for a probe, we need 80 dilithium. So if I sell off dilithium, I still need 80. So let's do something like that. Can I build another probe now? Not quite yet, but at the end of the month we should be able to. So, let's reinforce all. Great. So that way our next probe will be there, and then we will have six probes in our second fleet. Or, offense, the fleet entitled Offensive Asset 001. Versus our first fleet that we ever had, which is Offensive Asset 002. You know, just to be a little bit confusing. So, what I'm... Time is on our Yeah, side. now their fleet power is equivalent. Probably with this last probe, um, it will then be... Well, it will still be equivalent, but it will be less... Yeah, disastrous. So, if we declare war, that will also bring in the Kazon sects. We the Kazon the we have not met yet, but they are usually up here. According to my observations... They're, yeah, they're usually around here somewhere. So, oh, that's interesting. Some planet. Yeah, we randomly have a planet, a super huge planet in the galaxy. Super huge something. Anyway, doesn't matter. Just a little bug. Declare war. That would be against the Praelor. So these two, which would be too much, would then, yeah, have to defend all of this. That is something I am a little bit worried about too. If we declare war against anyone, are they just all going to jump on on the bandwagon and fight us? Hmm, who knows? I'm hoping the Trabe the Trabe hate um, the Krenum and I believe also the their historical rivals the Kazon sects here as well um, so it wouldn't surprise me if, if I declare war on the Krenum that the Trabe also might declare war on the Krenum and the Kazon as well could be interesting, but let's shore up our energy. So, the Vidian so Sodality. So, diplomacy is irrelevant. You're there. And your fleet power is equivalent? How is that possible? Don't know. We do not waste. Declare war. Seize the day. Or your fleet power is superior again. Maybe what I will do... Oh! We've lost our... We've lost the... Yeah, our primary leadership node ruler. So, okay. Not much we can do there. Planets and sectors. Ah. Yeah, so let's go... Oh, let's go for the reinforced cutting beam. So this is installed on um, um, all of our outposts and our... Um, and our shipyards and stations and things like that, so let's go for that. Oh, we almost have a pyramid. Okay, so it looks like we definitely have a problem. We're having a minimal problem as well. So let us go like that and like that. Basically, oh, actually, what we could. Ooh. What we could do, we do have a construction ship here. We could have them scoop. You, let's go here, enter orbit. And we could have them try and scoop this colony. Ooh, 
we just need to get to 500 nanites. Megastructure, harvest colony. And here we now have the pyramid class. Let's go for the magnetometric charge. Or omnidirectional impulse ray. Uh, let's go for that, actually. Can we take this colony? I really hope so. Oh, Starbase. Oh, you're not doing anything. And you are, okay. You cannot reach any more... Oh, because you don't have a leader. Let us recruit someone. Let's recruit you, I guess. And send you for automatic exploration. Now we're going to have energy and minerals run out soon. Well, I'm really hoping the scoop works. But that will take care of the energy part, at least. So, more aliens to meet. Let's do so. Oh, we need a new scientist for research. These are all anomaly discovery chants. This is anomaly research speed. So none of them actually really help us. What about here? Discovery chance. Anomaly research speed. Anomaly research speed. Okay, so we're just going to have to do that. Okay. Well, could have been worse, I guess. The Kazon sects. We've met you. Great. Diplomacy is relevant. We still intend to destroy you. Four cruisers and one patrol for good. So what I'm going to do while we're waiting, I'm going to add some pyramid class vessels, four of them, to each fleet. Like that. We now need 19,000 alloy, 5.4 thousand. I almost have enough drones to do that already. And 4.3 thousand dilithium. Well, we're halfway there. Hopefully this works and I don't declare war on us like five seconds before it finishes. Energy in 11 months again. Let's go for... Well, actually, let's do dilithium. I think per ship we only need, what was it, 80? Per probe. So yeah, we'll be fine. Ooh. 79%, 80%, almost there. Had I realized it was going to work, we could have just gone to Krenim. Or, if it potentially works, we could have just done it on the Krenim homeworld. Interesting, more aliens to meet. We're at 92, 93, 94, 95. Oh, now I Congress of Benea. Great to meet you, but it's really kind of irrelevant. Don't care. 97, 98, 99, 100, yay! So, lots of stuff. So, we have people here who are not doing anything. We're going to move you to Alpha. So, unemployed, and there was somebody else who was unemployed as well. Yeah, you. So, traditions are available. Uh, administrative capacity plus 20, starbase maintenance minus 20%. Let's do that. Um, administrative capacity plus 20, what are we at? Yeah, let's do that. That will make everything cheaper as well. Oh, so minerals are now at plus 63. That's good. 
and you go back there. We will make the time to speak with you. That's awesome that that worked. Here, let's go for... Oh, Starbase Reinforcement. And now reduces crime. Well, really deviancy for us. Um, Nanite Foundries, Armored Drones. Those are better drones than what we have right now for our armies. Starbase Reinforcement. Crime. No, let's... Mm, let's go for this one. So what we can also do is... Upgrade you, and upgrade you. The Gimel aliens. Ed Lu -a -lu. I guess, well, you can, we do not you can research money. me if you want. I don't really, I have max influence, so there's nothing I can really do at the moment. Actually, I could, nah, let's not do that. Let's build a ship. Ships are always a good idea. So then we'll have a seventh probe here. Energy problems in nine months. Let's sell some minerals and some telonium crystals. So let's try this again. Let's go against the Krenum homeworld. Especially if we go against the Krenum homeworld, they then will have very little population. Which means they will have to, they will be forced to, <clears throat> excuse me, they will be forced to, uh, yeah, reduce their ships because they won't be able to support them, reduce the number of star bases. Build megastructure, harvest, harvest that colony. Oh, evading hostiles. Oh, we're now at war. Okay. So that was the thing that triggered the war. But we're only at war with Krenim. Very good. So offensive asset. Let's see where they move to. If they move. They are not moving. They are moving. They are moving to Benthos. So let's head them off. And here, six probes. Let's try with six probes against... these stations. Don't know if it will work. Actually, go to there first. And actually, you also need a leader. Recruit. Hull regen. Nah, let's go for 8 of 10. You're coming to the Benthos system. Attack. Oh. They have two fleets of 2.4. And I mine is 2.3. Hmm. Let us... Just sit there and don't move. I'm wondering if I can engage one of the fleets but not the other and it's not going to happen right now so understood no okay you go to Mika just for right now Especially if they engage me in Mika. I will then have the backing of a starbase as well. So, seven. Let's try with seven probes to take on. So, there's one. Let's move you. Oh, they're both moving together, unfortunately. The Haconian Order. Great, good for you. You exist. Although now might be a good time to take out. The 
Krenim. Let's try. No harm in trying, especially with both of your fleets there. And then what I will do is send in my construction vessel there as well. So it looks like seven probes will be able to take out this outpost. Good. Oh, we've met the Voth. That's not a very good thing. But they're a little bit far away from me, so that's okay. So let's go there and there, and then there and there and there. Let's just send you running round. Like so, I guess. Let's see how that works out. So you are attacking the Krenum Starbase. And you come here and enter orbit of Krenum Prime. Yeah, and we didn't lose a probe. Nice. Didn't lose a single one. So, construction ship, move there. How are you doing? Where are those fleets? Here, Sperry. Oh, it's... weakened. Let's also move against the that fleet. And here, now that you're here, you are going to try and harvest Krenum Prime. Especially as, yeah, that would be very nice. And we have an energy problem. Oh, and a drone problem? Oh, that's going to take forever. Okay. So let's do minus 50 there. Oh, we've lost our Tolonian crystal production. Which was somewhere. Benthos? Yeah, in Benthos. Why is there only one fleet there? Because the other one's here. Good. Very good. So we will destroy a fleet. Hopefully. And then go after the other fleet. And we probably will lose some probes, but there's not much we can do about that at the moment. Here, let's go for... Ooh, yes. Pop assembly speed and interlinked computational array. Oh, and they're probably going to destroy some probes of mine. One has retreated. Okay, how are you doing? Fine. Let's reinforce. Yeah, so we did lose one for asset. Two. Okay, so the starbase is now ours, so focus on the cruisers. We've lost another probe. Oh, research. Let's go for Fusion Torpedo 2. No, let's go for the automated um, asteroid mining. We're at 11 probes. Nanites. So hopefully we can destroy these cruisers without really losing our entire fleet. Because that would not be very good. New research. Let's go for... Oh, improved assimilation process. Oh, and we've lost... 
Only a couple of probes left here. But at least we will have destroyed... one of the cruisers. Okay, rather than letting that probe be destroyed, I, oh. Okay, I'm gonna let that probe be destroyed. But rather than letting these two, I'm gonna have them retreat. I only destroyed eight of my probes and I only destroyed two of their cruisers. That's not very good. So what we need to do is get a lot more alloys. Dilithium. Do something like that. More alloys. Add fleet. We still only need 80. Yeah, I have all of that. Why? Oh, I can now reinforce the fleet. So 1.2. Hopefully they don't destroy my colony ship or my construction ship. Because they're 1.3 versus my 2.6. Yeah. Patrol frigate is gone. So you... Let's upgrade you, I guess. still have all of the probes in this fleet that's all good but maybe yeah retreat so the reason I did that yeah I think is a little bit obvious so it looks like we hopefully will destroy this cruiser And probably what I'll do is just do for right now is combine these, because there are seven sh ships here and there are eight ships there. So you also upgrade. It will be added to our own. We got Krennen Prime. Yes! Wonderful. So... This construction ship, you're going to stay there for now. And, ah, oh, you're coming in. Okay, good. You're upgrading. Why did it cost so much to upgrade? I thought this was like... So, merge. Upgrade. Only one of them is upgrading. Okay, I'll let you upgrade. And then you are going to take on this fleet in leg. But I'm going to have you come down here to Matthew. Okay, go to leg. And we are going to kick some more Krenum ass. So here, let's go for... Increases starbase capacity 33. Ah, oh, that's good. That will also make our um, mega structure, uh, mega project go faster, I believe. Yeah, 271 days instead. Excellent. So you're here and you're here. I want you to come to Lamhorn. Oh, and I need um, a leader. Let's go for, I guess, you. So, and then, go there, then go to Brock, and then I guess come here, and go there. That way I can take all of their centers of population as quickly as possible. And what are we going to do for the other traditions? F uh, full unicomplex collective may build up to five subcomplexes. Starblaze influence costs minus 10%. Let's go for that. 
Yeah, okay. So it's just the one. So, new research. Let's go for Mega Alloy Foundries. Why not? Yo, how are we doing here with population? So, you have too many and too many. Well, let's give you uh, two more city districts, three more, actually, one, actually, I'll leave those to the end. So, one, two, three, let's do something like that, and that, and that, and that, and move those to the very bottom. Here, we need the district, but then let's do that, that, and that, that. And not that, but we only need one astro, or sorry, drone hive to begin with. Ben Domar have entered a defect, have entered a defensive pact with the Herosian. Okay, good to know. Also, you. Just go directly to Brock and land our armies on Brock 2. They have one army there, okay. So I think their last... So what I'll do is send it there and then these ones will then go there. You have 23 probes. Yeah, okay. So it was fine to combine them like this. I was sorry, I was just looking at the um, the fleet limits and fleet command. Oh, actually. 16. I guess let's do that. The Sperry. So why don't we also here, neutron enricher, alloy forges, uh, maybe maintenance depot? Let's do another one there, and I think we'll need another one here as well. Oh, although local maintenance depot, and then probably a local defense node will also be something we should, we should get, uh, and a hive node. It's probably a good idea too. And there's a fleet. Where is the fleet coming in? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> we just switched places. Obviously it wasn't enough to... Uh... Yeah, to actually... Fight. I thought we were going to fight on the edge of the system. So let's send you... yeah, you stay there. This should be rather quick. Yep, interesting. And it's ours. Here I'm going to resettle our population. Let's go to the... I guess to the hub. And then you, let's move you back to Unicomplex 01, just to keep you safe. Build another probe, especially as I think we're going to lose some probes. Yep, so it is destroying that probe. Oh, we've lost a researcher. Let's go for anomaly research speed, discovery chance, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go for you then. 
we also need to worry about our um, minerals. Oh, sorry, our um, energy, not our minerals. Let's do something like that. And it looks like, please destroy their ships. Not mine, their ships, I said. Okay, so take Colador. And actually, what I want is to then just do some bouncing. Let's take some systems. Especially these ones. Yeah. Oh, well, at least we destroyed four of their patrol frigates. Because that's going to do so much. Then more. And then there. And there. And there. And there. Yeah, that would be nice. New research. Let's go for the next stage antimatter, uh, sorry, antimatter energy weapons. And here, let's go for a plasma torpedo three. Hold on. Why did you not take the Colador system? I guess we'll get it on the way back. Yep, so go there, then there, then there, there, and then 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 there. And I assume we will have to declare peace before we probably get most of this stuff, but it's something. Oh, you aren't fighting. Here, are you? No, you're not. Okay, good. I was about to say, I want that probe to live, not to die. But yeah, so we were up here, and then last and not least, go there. Oh, interesting. You should try and escape. Looks like they might try to take the starbase back. So maybe what we should be doing is going like that. Ah, oh, okay, there's no way that I'm going to be able to keep that starbase. Unless, actually, I could just declare peace right now. You know what? Let's Automated personnel units are currently functioning at 85% of Let's peak operating capabilities. So that is cool. I can't do that yet. Ugh. Oh, status quo. Here we go. Send off her. Yeah, we'll accept for now. Good, because we have other problems. Why don't you go upgrade and then go to Monea? Upgrade, then go to, well no, it's always going to go through there anyway. So upgrade, then I guess Monea. So we're doing okay with energy. You're here, why don't you build 
those mining stations and the research stations and all of that jazz. And you know what? Before this war really kicks off, I'm going to put a cut in here. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and how our war with the Krenum went. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!